Hey, what's going on guys? Mr. Eerie here, and welcome to Regrowth. This is episode 2. And uh, when we left off episode 1, we made some flint tools. We actually got ourselves a pickaxe, we got our uh, first sword, we got ourselves a hatchet and uh, a mattock, so we can now start uh, planting some seeds, because as you can see, we are starting to uh, get a little bit hungry. And if we're not careful, we're going to end up starving in this cave. And that's something that I don't want to do. So um, what we was doing last time is uh, looking at some quests. And I stopped on this quest here. It's super. And that is another quest that opened up later to us when we first started to do some more of these quests. And um, we need to kill an enderman. Uh, as you can see here, kill a total of one enderman to get ourselves an ender pearl. Um, but not only that, it will unlock another quest elsewhere. And also we have grasping at straws, which we need a uh, floral fertilizer. We need three of those. We need three clay. We need bone meal of just one. We need a pasture seed and some belladonna seeds, which is witchery, the mod witchery, I think it is. So uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, I do like witchery and their uh, rewards will get seeds. We get some carrot seeds and potato seeds. Um, or potato seeds. Uh, it's just my accent. Some of you guys are probably thinking, what? what the hell are you on about? Don't worry. It's probably my accent. I'm so sorry. I'm a proper Norfolk uh, country bumpkin. Uh, oh dear. Uh, that's bad. Um, I just wanted to have a look at its super quest. Um, it's a super crafting frame. Now, I had a look on a different um, world to see what these are. I've never come across these before in any of the mods I've played with. Um, and I think it's pretty cool, so I'm gonna quickly make one. Uh, we need, I believe it's a crafting table surrounded with sticks. And if I remember correctly, this is how you make a crafting table and uh, surround this thing with some sticks. And we get ourselves a super crafting frame. frame. So let's put it up there. Now, I believe if we put something like, I don't know, say we wanted to make some chests, um, I believe if we just put it in there, we could just click it out. As long as you have the dead wood in your inventory of what how to make the chest, and just right click on it, it will use your, your um, items in your inventory to create that item that you want. So uh, no more do we have to keep going to like crafting tables and uh, just put it in like that and then it's so boring and just keep pulling them out. You can just quickly go to this, click it and away it comes. So that is pretty cool. We do need another chest actually, so I'll put that up there. Um, what else do we have? Uh, we've got some wood ash, we've got flint, nah, I don't know, I'll just put some of this stuff away. We do have hay actually, I forgot we had hay. Oh, that's awesome, so let's just uh, put, okay, we can get some wheat, that's awesome. Uh, okay, do we smelt the wheat up? Uh, maybe sticks, maybe that, no. We have to put it into, okay, wheat flour. Nice, and then I believe we cook that up, and that will give us bread. And I think if we cook the bread even more, um, it will turn into toast. I think. Let's have a look quickly. Is it going to turn into toast? No, it's not. Okay, that's fine. I thought Pam's Harvest Craft was on here, but obviously it's not. I thought we could. Um, no, maybe not. Uh, bread, bread. No. No, sorry, my mistake. I thought we could turn it into toast. It's wrong. Uh, so let's put all our food in here. Uh, apples. Uh, let's put all the wood stuff in here for now, maybe. Put that there, put that in there. Uh, marble. I need some dead wood. I need another chest. And then click this, and it pops out, and it just used some of our dead wood. I think I like that. That's pretty cool. So let's put this here, maybe. Um, let's put all our stone, cobblestone, dirt. Put the dirt in there. Red sand. Um, sorry, my phone was going off. Um, the red sand. What else we got? That is pretty much it. So right. Let's organise this quickly. Hang on guys, let me just uh, organise my inventory quickly here. Alright guys, I've got my inventory sorted out, we're now clear. So I'm just going to take some bread and quickly eat this. And uh, we, I want to crack on with some more quests. Um, so we've got our item frame. Uh, oh, we need to claim that. Oh, we get four. Nice. 
So put one there, put one there, and one there. We'll, we'll, I'll just sort all that out later um, to see what else I can craft with that sort of stuff. Uh, maybe sticks? I wouldn't mind some sticks, actually. Can I put sticks up here? Uh, why don't I... Oh, you have to actually... Ah, uh, okay, you can't actually access the interface after you placed it. So once you place it, you have to actually put the items in. Okay, that's fine. And then now we can craft sticks automatically so I don't have to craft them anymore. Awesome, right. So, we've done that. I want to look for these. So I need to look for some clay. And I believe, from what I can remember, to get all this sort of stuff, you have to go outside. And uh, it's quite tedious. You have to go around breaking some... Uh, old grass that's knocking around oh my god this is going to be so bloody tedious oh what's this okay floral fertilizer nice that's one of them i think we needed uh, manual detect uh, i won't detect it mm, maybe over here okay there's some bone meal uh, b -b -b anything I'm slapping this grass with a book. Uh, nothing here. Oh, there's another bit. So we've got two floral fertilizers, but nothing else. Really? Come on. This is going to take a while. I know on my last, um, my other video or my other world I done to test things out, it took me ages. I mean ages to find all this stuff. Oh, belladonna seeds. Nice. Uh, anything over here? Uh, nothing. Ooh, pasture seeds. Nice. So I've got that. I've got pasture seeds. I think I've got everything, haven't I? Uh, oh, we need clay. Clay. I can't remember if we get clay from seeds or, or grass or not. Do we? I don't know. Um, more pasture seeds. Um... Alright guys, what I'm going to do as well is I'm going to just quickly go running through all this bits of grass and then uh, I'll keep cutting the recording back in when I find some interesting stuff, if I find any clay or if anything else actually happens along the way. So uh, I'll see you guys in a minute. Oh, got some clay. There we go. Nice. Uh, anything else? So we've got a bit of clay. Uh, we've got one clay so far and it's getting dark. Oh no. Oh, there's another bit of bone meal. There's fertilizer. So we just need some clay now. And it's getting dark. It's getting too dark. It's getting. Oh, another bit of clay. I just need one more bit of clay. Come on! What the hell? Uh, ooh, uh, oh, yeah, that's a spawner. And that's just now spawned something. Ugh. Please don't get me. Uh, I need some more clay. Anything. Fertilizer. Bone meal. Oh my god, this is tedious. Nothing. Nope. Nope, nothing. Let's go over here. I just need one more bit of clay. Really? Is that too much for ask? Anything? Don't you creep up on me, anything. If these mobs creep up on me, I'm just going to crap myself right here. Um... Nothing. Oh my god. Why can't I find any clay? Alright, let me just go and look for some clay. Yes! We found some clay! Cool! Nice, that's all I needed. Um, and it's now done. Okay, we now can get seeds and we are stuck outside. And it's pitch black. This is not going to be fun. Um, is it? What's that? Oh, it must be a beehive. Where's my house? Oh, it's over there. So right in that distance. So there's a skeleton there. There's a spider just over here. Maybe I can... Oh, I don't know. Uh, let's go towards the spider. I think I'd rather take the spot. Ooh, there's two of them. There's two spiders. Um, don't you dare come over here. I hate these freaking things. Right. Okay. He's after me. He's after me. I'm running. I'm running. You little buggers. 
zombies coming after me. Uh, that's fine. I don't mind zombies. Spiders and creepers are the most uh, deadliest in my my eyes. Uh, so okay, cool. We made. What the hell is that? I don't even want to know what that is. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, so we've got some seeds, we've got carrot seeds and potatoes. Nice. And we've got some string from the spider. I wonder if we can go fishing. Now we've got plenty of food, so we don't need that. Okay. So we should have opened some more quests. Awesome. Um, buckets. Buckets of stuff. You found plenty of water pulled around the world. While it may be kind of murky, it does the job and will be useful for farming. But you need a way to move it around. Maybe you'll be able to form a crudible bucket from some sort of the clay you pulled with the dead grass. So we've got to make a bucket from the clay that we found, which is just like that, if I believe, which will um, give us an unfired clay bucket. Now, you can't go in the world and just use this in anything. Like, you can't go to a, a puddle of water or a lake and just pull water out. You have to burn it or just uh, heat it up. So what you do is just uh, whack it in a furnace and that will go up and uh, cook. And let's just put some of this stuff away. We've got plenty of food now, so I'm not really bothered about that. And that should turn into a hard bucket. Uh, a fired clay bucket. It's not a hard bucket. It's just just me. I'm, I'm going nuts. Uh, so we now have a fired clay bucket. And uh, is that it? Oh, okay, that's all. And we get some dirt and we get some bone meal. So more building blocks and more bone meal for some crops, I suppose. Um, not farm fill three. Flowering. Uh, some of the... Uh, um, what's this then? Crops. Some of the seeds you've scour scour bleh, scrounged should make a good start for a farm. Maybe you'll actually be able to feed yourself this way. Giving crops some growth support in part paramount to help them grow properly. So we need to make some crops. Oh, how the hell do you make crops? Oh, God. Oh, it's just four sticks. Oh, that ain't too bad. Uh, we've got some sticks somewhere. Yeah, nice. And let's put this here. And we've got some crops. 64. Nice. What the hell was that? What's blowing up? And what is that stupid woofing noise? Bugger off! You stupid weirdo. Uh, sugar cane and a mandrake root. Oh, how the hell do we get sugarcane? Uh, turns out you can find certain plants to mutate them into others by leaving a crossbreed in. Double. Set of crop sticks between two plants. Wheat and carrot seems to reduce sugarcane, while potato and belladonna seed see, seems to produce mandrake. No, sugarcane seeds require sand to be used as soil, so to mutate. Uh, okay, so it seems we've got crossbreed. Um, we don't have a bed. I can't sleep through the night. Um, I think I just might wait until morning before I go outside because it's going to be pretty deadly. So I'll see you guys back when it's pretty much morning. Hey, it's finally morning and all the mobs are starting to burn outside. Hey, there's one of them. Hey, you die. Die out there. Die in the sunlight. I'm so evil. Um, okay, so I wanted to wait till it's night time. I put another chest down. I want to start organising a little bit here because it's all over the place, all my items. Um, so all my food is in this top chest. So everything that we can eat or use, like bone meal to grow food, I'll put in this chest here. Um, this bottom chest, the large chest, I'll put like books, uh, all the wooden type stuff, like charcoal sort of wood, it burns. Uh, books are pretty much wood because it's like paper and all the sticks and that. And then in this chest, obviously, I'll put all like the building materials. I'll take this wood ash out and these books and uh, just put like flint and all sorts of stuff in that one. So at least we know where things are. Um, so if we do need to get stuff we know exactly where to go to it um, and also I want to make some more um, 
are these super crafting frames up here so on this one I want to be able to make some of these slabs. I already made some slabs. Um, I, the reason for this is uh, I'll show you in a minute. So I want to make some slabs. And then on this one, I want to get the slabs and then put them over the top of each other to create oak wood planks. So we can now actually have planks um, to uh, build stuff with uh, like wooden planks. So we now have the um, sticks. And there's another explosion. Uh, we've got a, a chest, we've got half a slab, and we've got a full wood plank, which is pretty good. And let's just pull this stuff back. Let's put that in there. Uh, we'll take this outside. And I need my quest book again. So we needed sugar canes, and we need a mandrake root. And what it said is we need a wheat and carrot to create this. So we need wheat. So we've got carrot. And where's our wheat? There. Can we change this into seeds? I swear we could change those in seeds. Okay, we'll just take these ones for now. Um, actually, let's take them all. Let's take that. Um, pasture seeds. Don't want pasture seeds yet. Potato. Yeah, we'll take that. And let's take the dirt. Like so. Right, let's go outside. Let's head out. Um, where do I want to put this? Out here. This is not too bad of a place to put it. Uh, let's just dig all this out. I want to be able to make this farm. So, let's just dig out here. Maybe... Hmm, this far out, maybe? Yeah, that looks about right. So let's put this down here. I would eventually, or will eventually, uh, make a bigger farmland, but as for now, this is, you know, pretty much okay. It'll get us going uh, to get some sugar cane. What was that? I was a bat. Oh, God, that scared the crap out of me. Um, let's just dig this right out here. It takes so bloody long to dig. It's only cracked sand. How is that even possible? Right. So, let's put this dirt down. Let's get the foundation of our fields going. Like so. Oh, that's lovely, that. And we need some water. I think, think there's some water around here somewhere. Uh, if not, we'll just go over here. Oh, some more string. Nice. That'll come in handy at some point. And let's go and grab ourselves some water. Why is that clean water and that's all dirty? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Who knows? Okay. Let's go and make a farm um, here. And put the water in there. Ah, oh, it's got all dirty again. Never mind. Um, how does this work? So I, I need sand. I wonder if it'll grow on this sort of sand. Maybe it will. I don't know. Let's try. So let's put that there. Um... Right, so how does this work? So we need seeds. Oh, I need my crops. Oh, for Christ's sake, I keep forgetting everything. Uh, right, so I need these wooden crops. Let's go back up. And let's put one... Hmm. Put one there, one there, and one there. So we need, this one here needs to be s sand, I believe. I think, is this right? Sand? I think this is right. Like that. And then I need seed there. And then I need the, was it carrot or was it potato? Uh, but wheat and carrot. Oh, it's carrot carrot seed and put that there now hopefully what this should do is when these grow I might be able to bone meal these things and there's a zombie um, hopefully when they grow um, once they're properly fully grown there's a chance for it to crossbreed the carrot and the wheat and that will cause a crossbreed to go into sugarcane that's the plan whether it, oh my god there's so many where are you where are you all coming from there's, there's, I think there's a creeper down there. I ain't going down there. He can 
He can go play with someone else. I ain't gonna play with him. Uh, bone meal. Let's grab this, and hopefully we can see this happen. Um, right. Let's see if we can bone meal this thing. So that is now mature, and that is now mature. So what this should do is there's a chance of it to crossbreed into um, this area here. Um, you actually have to have a cross pattern on this one for the breeding to uh, take place, I believe. And if you have some more crops, like here, and I get some over these uh, sticks and put them there, maybe there, this should spread onto these ones. So I don't have to keep putting the seeds here, that should just jump with a bit of luck. I don't know, this is all new to me as well, so hopefully this should work. Is it going to work? Are you going to work? I don't know. Please don't lie to me. Please? Oh my god, I've just been waiting here for ages uh, to see whether this grows, but it, nothing's happening. I'm pretty sure this should work. It worked in my uh, other world, but why isn't it working? I don't get it. That should crossbreed. Oh, I just pressed the wrong button. That should crossbreed and jump, and the sun's going down. Oh great, I do know one thing, these crops will not grow through the night, you actually have to have sunlight for these to grow, so um, through the night time period, there's no point waiting for them, they will not grow, um, so again, I'm just going to have to wait until morning, because I'm not standing out here, I might have to build some sort of wall around this, so we can carry on outside, without getting interrupted by any uh, creatures or monsters, but at the moment, nothing seems to be happening. I don't understand. I, I have done this right. Let's get inside quickly. Let's have a quick read. I'm pretty sure I've done this right. Surely. Um, Tamer and Bel Belladonna. So we need wheat and carrot seems to produce sugar cane. While potato and Bel Belladonna seems to produce mandrake. No, sugarcane seeds require sand to be used as soil, which we have. We use red sand. So you to moot them. And that stupid howling noise. Uh, so to moot them, you'll need um, cross crops planted on the sand, which we have. The crisscross that we've done is on the sand. So why isn't it doing it? Maybe we have to wait for a while. I don't know. I think I'm just going to wait guys, I'm going to wait till morning and uh, hopefully we can see this happen. Um, I know it did work on my last uh, world that I'd done um, for a test and it worked on there so I don't know why it's not working so um, I'll, I'll be right back. Right, no more Mr. Nice Guy, this is really starting to annoy me. It's now morning, there's a stupid spider outside, there's been a lot of howling from wolves. I don't know, it's just really irritating me at the moment. Um, let's just take him out. Where the hell are you? You are starting to really pee me off. There you are. Uh, come here. Yeah. Yes. Take some of that. Right. Let's have a look. Ah, oh, it's crossed. Nice. Not the ones that we wanted, but the uh, the wheat that we had has actually crossed over to this side. <laughs> That was so close. That was that stupid creeper that was down there. He came out. Thank God. I think... Is the explosions uh, disabled on here then? There should be a crater here. That's pretty cool. Oh, that's good. Um, yeah, so it has actually crossed. So um, you actually need these cross bits for the crops to actually cross over. So instead of actually having them open, like I said, about like, I don't know, 10 seconds ago, um, you actually have to put a cross bit on the top for these to actually jump. So now that actually has crossed over to this second one, this second one won't cross over to the third one until this one is properly fully grown. So um, don't expect like this one to jump and then after about 10 seconds now, the second one will jump to the third, it won't happen. You literally have to have this one fully mature before it actually jumps. So I could put another one here and um, it could cross breed into sugarcane if I put sand here, but it won't if I just put normal mud here. It will either go with um, 
the carrot, the carrot might jump to this one, or the wheat might jump. It is. It, I know it's very uh, confusing, but just go with it. And we still haven't got any sugar cane, which I'm pretty annoyed about, and I'm pretty hungry as well. I'm, I'm starting to. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna get quickly grab some food. Hopefully, this should cross. I don't know why it's not doing it. It should do. And uh, maybe I should test it out again in my other world. Um, I hear an Enderman. That's another quest I need to do. Is that one down here? Ah, oh, there is. It's a mini one. Shall I get him? Yeah, let's go for it. Let's go for it. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Where's he gone? Where's he gone? I can, I can hear him. Where is he? Go out and fight like a man, you... you where is he? Oh, he's, he's going to pop out somewhere. I know who he is. They hit like trucks. Where are you? Where are... Where is he? Oh, I'm not even going to bother. I don't know if he'll class as an Enderman. Because they, they're from Ender.io. Is he a, there he is. Yes. Is that... Is it classed? Is it classed? No, it doesn't. Oh no! Oh never mind, at least we got an ender pearl out of it. So we have an ender pearl and an ender fragment from ender zoo. And this thing still hasn't crossbreeded. Maybe I fish I should get some normal sand then. Maybe that might help. It did say in the book that um, the red sand should work, but let's just try it with just normal sand. Uh, let's go over here, let's drop this down. Let's put this in here that there and cross it so hopefully this should cross over oh no I think I know why the uh, sugarcane ain't growing I I think I completely mucked up let me just quickly eat this I think sugarcane needs to grow on sand but not only does it need that it needs water. It it needs a water source nearby. So I'm thinking it's not growing because we don't have a water source next to the block it's supposed to grow on. And if this grows now, I I'm, I'm gonna just pretty much kick myself. Um, hopefully this should do uh, what it should do now, because I just now had a look on my other world and I got a water source next to the block. And it does actually seem pretty right because you need sugarcane next to the sand block for it to grow. So um, I'm just going to sit here and hopefully it should pop over. Hey, there we go. It. <laughs> I needed water. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, guys. I just literally wasted like 10 minutes of just wandering around, around why this is not working is because you need a water source next to the block for sugar cane to grow oh my god I feel like a right turd <laughs> okay so we've got sugar cane growing um, let me just quickly grab this can I just grab it pop it off ah oh, nice so we now have sugar cane after a long long time um, and we need a mandaric root, which is uh, sugarcane, potato, and belladonna seed. So this shouldn't be too bad. I've got enough um, uh, bone meal. So we need, uh, we've got the belladonna, and we need potato. Oh, we've already got them. Uh, let's put this maybe, let's put it down here for now. So put it in a three. So we need potato and Benadonna and it across. And let's see if this works. Put that there, put that there. Let's grow these and grow that. So these are all mature now, uh, apart from this. Now that's mature, that's mature. And this should hopefully cross over again, just like the uh, sugar cane, I hope. And where's the sun? Okay, we've still got a little bit of daytime left. Um, is it gonna cross? Are you going to cross over? Please cross over. Please be quick. I want to do this before we have to wrap up this episode. Um, 
Mandrake. Are you going to cross over? Please? Please? Hey, there we go. We now have it. There's the Mandrake. Well, Mandrake uh, seeds. I um, know oh, it's not. That's potato. Why is that potato? Oh, I didn't crossbreed. Oh, no. I thought I crossbreeded then. Oh, you're such an idiot. Okay, let's put that there. Uh, the, we ain't got a lot of time left. Come on, and crossbreed. I need to get this done before night time. Um, Mandrake, why isn't this working? <coughs> I got potatoes instead. They're both mature. Why isn't it crossbreeding? Oh, the chances were too low. Um, holy crap, that sugar cane's growing like anything. That's growing like wildfire. And that should jump soon. That's nearly mature as well. Okay, oh, well, that's pretty cool. And there's another zombie coming towards me. Go away. Go away. I, I can't be dealing with you right now. I'm trying to mutate my crops. That <laughs> sounds so wrong. Um, is it gonna? Is it gonna crossbreed? Probably not. Are you gonna do it? Are you gonna do it? Mm, no, I don't think so. I don't think it's gonna do it. All right. Ah, oh, damn it. Come on. Nothing? Nope, nothing. Okay, I'm going to have to wait till morning again. Check it out, guys. I actually have a mandrake seeds now. Um, I got fed up. I actually put a, another cross crop on the other side of uh, this garden here. Um, because I was trying to put it on here, but it, it kept coming up with uh, potatoes. Uh, so I just put it on this side. Uh, I waited till morning. And uh, I was just, I pretty much waited about 20 seconds after I put this one down, and it worked. And uh, I got belladonna seeds on this side. So I don't actually know why it's not crossing on this one, and it is this one. But anyway, guys, I'm going to have to wrap up this episode in a minute. But before I do that, I want to get this done. Um, we now have a mandrake. Now, with these mandrakes, just be careful because when you break them, there's a, a, a some sort of rattle, rab, I don't know what it is. It runs around you as a root and it makes you really dizzy. So uh, I'm going to try and do it and hopefully you can kill this thing. Is it? There it is. Where is it? Where is it? Come it. Did I get him? Did I get him? No, he's, he's making my screen go blaring. Uh, I can't get him. I can't. Where is he? There he is. And uh, there we go. We have potato seeds. We have mandrake seeds. And we now have a mandrake root. So that's all it's all uh, we have to do. So let me just put another one down. Hopefully we'll get another mandrake there. And uh, let's go back home. And uh, let's just uh, put this stuff back. Uh, that'll do. And let's do this quest quickly and we get some bone meal. Now, when we come back on episode three, um, we can do the uh, seed analyzer we could then start analyzing our seeds what we buy what we can get from our crops and uh, we'll carry on with all these uh, mutations and uh, mutandis from witchery um, it's just it's just crazy it's all about uh, plants and um, later on once we get some like uh, uh, iron we have to get iron through crops it's just gonna be absolutely crazy and like i said on episode one these episodes episode one two three four maybe five will be quite tedious to begin with because as you can see it's kind of um it's a struggle to get up and running but once we've actually got a farm going we can have all sorts of different kinds of things but um yeah, I think I'm going to end this episode here, guys. I do hope you have enjoyed this episode. And if you have, be sure to click that like button down below. And if you're new to my channel, be sure to click that subscribe button. I'd appreciate that so much. So um, I'll see you guys back on episode three when we'll carry on with our quest here. And then we can go and uh, analyze our seeds. I'll see you dudes later.